Hey, we've got some new changes to the appointment booking and custom widgets I want to show. Um, so I'm going to jump in here. It's going to be a little bit of a power user video and it's going to touch a few different areas. So um, I'm going to open the appointment types tab. I'm going to open the custom widgets tab. And um, maybe also the app center. So um, <clears throat> if you're familiar with our booking integration, you can say number of current concurrent appointments, um, start and end time and appointment length, and dates available. And then you'll have a URL that's available to do appointment booking from. Um, we have a way so you can get a special link for your user. Um, profile password, you get your special link here with a calendar and a number, and then this will be a link to the booking page using this only your users availability and then we've taken it a step further now with the custom widgets so <clears throat> I'm going to show you how this works um, in appointment types you can have different types of appointment like in shop and that'll use the shop's address you can have an on-site appointment it'll use the customer's address so these hook into like the appointment system um, if you want you can create an additional one of these to give different instructions to be placed in an appointment and then you can specify this in a widget flow the end goal of this is going to be I want different URLs to share with end users that give different instructions for people on how to connect with me and have different appointment time lengths based on the type of appointment so maybe I want to book a one hour appointment with someone via Zoom and maybe I want to book a 15 minute appointment with someone else via a phone call that's what these new features enable you to do. So we'll say um, Zoom meeting, and the location type is going to be predefined hard-coded. So we'll just put in a fake zoom.us, and a, just fake it. We are going to have a Zoom meeting. Here is the link. OK, so now we've got a Zoom meeting appointment type, and it'll put this instruction in the invite that gets sent to the customer. And I'm also going to check the phone call one. Location heart code, let's just say 206 555 1212, pin number 1234. Instructions call our conference line and enter the pin to connect to us. Okay, so now we've got two appointment types. So, in the widget flows, the um, <coughs> custom widgets, I'm going to make a new one for 15 minute call and appointment. And then we should have like some customer information. And then I'm going to make it automatically convert to a ticket instead of just a lead. So we'll do that in the confirmation step. So now in these settings, this is all new. So appointment. You can now go in there and say which person, this is the appointment owner, it'll go to their calendar, which appointment type, so this is going to be the phone call, we'll say phone call, and this is going to be a 15 minute appointment length. So you saw we had one hour time slots from our bookings page. Now you'll see this new link, it's going to have 15 minute slots, and it's only for this person. So now you've got one person's calendar, you're looking at real availability. Um, they're wide open on weekdays right now. Okay, so that widget flow works. We're going to say require phone, email, and first and last name. And we're going to say auto create a ticket. So now this is ready. You share this link with someone, they can book a 15 minute appointment with that one user. When the ticket comes in, it's going to automatically put that appointment right on their calendar. So now we've got a link we can share with someone for a 15 minute call. Now I'm going to set up another one for a one hour, one hour hangout we'll say, I will say Zoom, okay, one hour Zoom, and appointment, customer detail, confirmation, this is all the same, and then in this appointment we'll say it's also demo, and this is a Zoom meeting, and this is 60 minutes. We're going
going to require some fields and turn this into a ticket. All right, now this URL is going to have one hour time slots for that person, demo admin. So, I'm going to go ahead and book one and show you what the email looks like that has the details in it. Um, here we go, 8 a.m. Thursday, demo, admin, demo, demo at hours.com. Okay, the ticket's been made. Um, new appointment. Um, we can go look at this on the calendar, or we can look at it from the tickets. Here's that appointment. Um, so this is the detail for you. One second and I'll pull up the customer facing. Okay, here I've um, pulled up the appointment in my calendar. You can kind of see it in this squished window, but here you'll see a quick summary and then those instructions we put are right here in the calendar. So when that appointment time actually comes, they'll have that info right here. A lot of the online booking systems do this, and now Repair Shopper does too.